Hey guys, today we're doing a lesson on the Great Expectations. This novel was written by Charles Dickens. I listened to the audio cassettes as a teenage kid and later on checked out the animated film and was totally taken with the character. So let me set this up for you. We're looking at Estella, who is this blonde girl, meeting Pip, an orphan. He's lost his parents, unfortunately. For the very first time, let's do this. What name? This is Pip, is it? You can tell that Estella is a little standoffish. Standoffish is a great adjective to describe someone who is a little distant, a little cold and aloof. Standoffish. Come in, Pip. Boy, let your behavior here be a credit unto them which brought you up by hand. Uncle Pumblechook says, let your behavior be a credit to those who brought you up by hand. Charles Dickens used that phrase to bring someone up by hand, I think to mean that Pip was raised by someone other than his parents. This expression is not in common use. Oh, did you wish to see Miss Havisham? If Miss Havisham wished to see me. <laughs> but you see, she did. Is, it is interesting that Estella says she don't, so her grammar leaves something to be desired. And then slams the door in his face. So to slam the door in someone's face is a good phrase for you to learn. So this is a brewery. Brewery refers to a factory or a place in general where alcoholic beverages are produced. Do they still brew there? Do they still brew there? Brew is the verb and you can also use the verb to talk about preparing uh, tea. If they did, it would turn out rather sour. <laughs> Silly boy. Now you can tell that Estella is a little uh, derisive. Derisive is a formal word. This is something that you will come across in the literature, which describes someone who mocks or pokes fun at others. The place has been closed for years. Is that the name of this house, Miss? Yes, it means enough. Enough house. That's a curious name, Miss. Pip says that's a curious name. So we don't always use the word curious to describe people. You can also use it to describe something which is unusual or uh, peculiar. The idea was whoever had this house could want nothing else. <laughs> they must have been easily satisfied in their days. Come on, boy, don't loiter. Estella says don't loiter. Loiter means to hang about without any particular purpose. Don't loiter, it's a verb. Come on, boy. So how would you describe this mansion? I would say that this is a grim place. It's a little gloomy and intimidating. Just look at the flight of stairs that they have to trudge along. Go in. After you, Miss. Now this is a gentlemanly thing to say after you. It's a gesture of politeness, but I think in this case Pip is feeling a little bit apprehensive, a little scared. Don't be ridiculous, boy. I'm not going in. Enter. Oh, someone says enter. These days people just say come in. <laughs> Who is it? Pip Come to play. Well then, Pip. Play. 
This is Ms. Havisham, who lives in this drab, crummy, gloomy, all those expressions refer uh, to something which is dark and a little bit menacing in this case. And Pip shows his astonishment with a nonplus expression on his face. You know what I touch here. All right, check out the great expectations on YouTube. I'm sure you will learn a lot and enjoy all that is in store for you in this terrific novel by Charles Dickens. Catch you in the next video.